Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Paper Boy. Happy Saturday. My name is Cody, and this week's topic is cis passing privilege. So it hasn't been until recently that I've really been aware of the privilege that comes with passing because I I transitioned in the workplace and, that I'm in right now, and it took a long time to kind of get the name and pronoun thing going, but uh, we've just kind of had an influx of new coworkers, and it's been a good amount of time now since I've been passing in public, so now that we get more new people at, our, at my place of work, I have had my eyes open more and more to privilege. Just a few things that I've noticed differently since passing is that both women and men approach me differently. Women tend to approach me more apologetically or they're less trusting of me and that kind of makes me a little bit sad because part of me just wants to go out and like pat them on the shoulder and be like, don't worry, you know, I'm, I'm on your team and... <laughs> but at the same time I don't really want to like out myself or seem a little bit creepy. Um, then there's the men who approach me differently in that it depends who the guys are. Some guys are, I guess they're a little bit more aggressive or whatever. Um, I've noticed that even as a passing male that I approach men the same way that women approach me. So I've become more aware of my presence uh, in the kitchen. I work in a kitchen and I noticed that I'll still go into the dish pit and I will apologize for my mere presence of being in the dish pit when if any cisgendered dude that's been working there for three years, that's been to culinary school, walked into the dish pit, <laughs> you can be damn sure that they're not going to walk in there apologizing. So I think that it's kind of interesting that it's brought to forefront just how women are socialized and how, how women seem to live so apologetically and that is actually pretty sad and I notice also that people listen to me more, they take what I say more seriously, they don't get confirmation from another male figure to uh, take direction. It's just kind of like they'll ask me this question, I will tell them my opinion and they take it and they go with it. Whereas before it's like they'll ask me a question but then they'll go to another dude ask them, confirm, and then move on with whatever that question was. Um, I've also noticed that, you know, I'm told to, I'm not told to like smile or, or I could be direct without being called a bitch. Like all of these things are actually pretty disheartening and I don't think I was even aware of these things before transition, but now that I am aware of them, it just makes me kind of sad. <laughs> Um, it, it also makes me kind of sad that there's all these cis white males that are walking around with this privilege that they have absolutely no idea that they have. So yeah, transition has definitely brought more awareness to me as far as privilege goes. And uh, I didn't realize as a female like kind of it, how I was living more apologetically, how people didn't really take me seriously. And I guess it was kind of in, in the back of my mind, you know, that maybe because I was a woman, like this is why people questioned me more or people expected me to smile. And But now it's like all of those expectations have just been wiped down and like guys are allowed to be dicks. It's different. <laughs> if you want to be like an in-charge guy, you just gotta walk into a room, be as loud as you can, just be a dick, and people respect you, and that's crazy. But I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> Whatever privilege that I have taken from transition, I am very thankful that I'm aware of it. I'm very grateful that I have been on both sides and that I can use privilege in a more beneficial way and I'll, I will always speak up for the women in my kitchen. You can be damn sure about that. I am all for respect and I think that if any, if any woman in the kitchen is going to be disrespected, I'm not going to stand for it. Those are all my thoughts on privilege. Those are what I've noticed so far in transition. And uh, I will end it there. Peace out, guys. 
I'll see you next week.